All right, so good morning, good morning. It is Friday, it is 9.01, so I'm feeling better. I'm not a morning person, so like the past couple days, like each morning I dread getting up and then leaving my bed. Today, different story. It's nine, we're good, we can go. Um, I was planning on going to the library so I can print some stuff out and then laminate and then put up, but I feel like I have enough things to do where I don't need to do that today. So for the meantime, plan is just go into the classroom, make a list of things to do that I can do at the moment. And then I think we're only allowed to be in there today until three. So then at the three, I'll leave and then go to the library and print the stuff out that I wanted to. And then um, cut and laminate prepare it and everything for Monday and that way on Monday when I go in I just put the stuff up and I don't have to waste time in the classroom actually like laminating and cutting and stuff like that so let's go back to my class so now I am inside my room besides me there's like two other people there's the principal that's here and then one other teacher um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the room was left yesterday just because I actually didn't show you guys how I left it yesterday um, so here's my closet but here I have um, one bulletin board that I still have to put the borders around this table has the extra stuff that I brought in like that I bought in everything. most of it is storage so I'm gonna be using that to store um, like math, man math manipulatives better or just other stuff these are still here, this is here. I just moved it um, because I was putting that bulletin board. So again, that one just needs the border. So I brought in this thing for a student to sit on. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it for the student of the week. I have this for students to sit on during um, uh, independent reading time when they're in the library. I also have a dinosaur. I got him at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember how much he was. And I don't know if they still have. Um, this is still here. Um, the math manipulatives are still here. I did start to sort these in better containers. So like this, instead of being in the ugly white bin, I put it in the math, in the math, in the red. Um, I put these in the bins that I bought, so instead of them being in bags, same with this one, I put it in here, and then I threw these in one of the, well, I threw these in one of the small bins that I, um, already had in the classroom. Um, these bins, if you're interested in where I got them, I got them at Walmart, and then I still have to go through that and then put them in better storage. Same as all of this. And then over here, I have this bulletin done. It has a back to school border. Um, this one is going to be my calendar slash schedule. And then the border actually is gonna change every month or so. Um, Cause I'll show you the borders that I have for that one. And then this one is my teacher one. It's green has the same border as the one right there and then this is the border that i'm talking about it has like the holidays so there's 12 in total so i should be able to change it every month and then here i'll start right here i have garland to put on the windows uh, file stuff and then lamination and then this i got from my father I made this one. I'm actually gonna turn you around. So this, I actually made with my friend. It's a frame. Whoa. So students can take a picture when they um, are like the student of the week. For the moment I have it here, it's not gonna stay there. I just put it up there so it doesn't get damaged where, with everything else. These borders are the ones I'm going to put on there. I just have to figure out which one I like better. If I like the stripes 
or the dots. This is just supply stuff that I'll end up putting here or in the drawer. This is more decoration stuff, so I have like my alphabet, these that I'm putting on the wall, borders and stuff like that. So once like I need them, I'll take them out. This plant is fake, but I do plan on getting a real plant this weekend or multiple plants. And then I made this one yesterday. And yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna write a to-do list on the board with everything that I can do with what I have, um, which I have like mostly everything. The only things that I don't have is the stuff that I have to print out and then put on the bulletins um, or on the walls. So that's probably like a Monday thing. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the list. Okay, so this is what I have. The first thing I'm gonna do is border the back bulletins. So that's gonna be the green and the blue. Then I'm going to paper the chalkboard. So if you see that roll of black paper, I'm actually gonna put it along the chalkboard. And then uh, we're gonna border the chalkboard and then create a math board. So here I'm gonna put more paper so it's like a whole wall with that I'm able to use as like a bulletin for math. And then I'll do the same thing um, over on that side, but it'll be for words. Then I have a growth mindset poster that I got from Amazon that I'm gonna put on the inside of the door. And then I have welcome posters that I got that are gonna be on the outside. So this is what I'm focusing on right now. And we'll see if I get to all of it or if I get to more. And then I'm gonna use the same border over on that side for the green. This one done and that one and then now we're gonna put the black over here so I'm just now realizing that this chalkboard is definitely a two-person job to border and not a one-person struggle so what I am thinking of doing is measuring it because I have a tape measure and then cutting it so it like fits perfectly and then like lay it on the floor and then I'm using um, double-sided tape I'm using double-sided tape and I'm gonna like flatten the paper on the floor and then I'm gonna put the tape on it first or at least on one side um, and then hopefully I can like put it easily on here and then like tape the rest. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an update. I did 
quite a bit, sort of. And I didn't record just because the tech guy was here, um, fixed my computer and everything for my room and the projector, so I didn't record. But I have this done, this behind me. I finally figured out how to put it up because I was struggling how to put it up. Um, so I got this side for green. It's going to be science and it's also Spanish. And then I have this side. here which is blue um, for social studies and English as well and then show you these we have equal mindset and then this I'm actually gonna end up using for guided reading that way it's next to my table and then this one here I actually I'm thinking of using it for math. We'll see. Um, that's about it for the updates. I did start cleaning out some of the stuff that I had in that bin. So I put up pencils and erasers. And then over right here on this side, here. I ended up putting strips because I put in a maintenance ticket for them to put um, cork strips that way I don't have to worry about figuring out how to um, put stuff on the wall since it's like the cylinder block and it's hard to put stuff up on the wall <laughs> so people don't see me recording um, I'm outside the school right now um, I'm about to drive home I got everything that I wanted to get done today I started um, also organizing like my materials so like my markers my um, sharpies expo markers just stuff like that I started organizing and seeing where I'm gonna put it um, I'm going to this weekend you guys won't see it I don't think I'm gonna record it but this weekend I'm gonna try to finish um, printing out or creating printing out laminating and then cutting everything that I need to so then I can be prepared for Monday I'm hoping that the cork strips that I put in a ticket for are there when I get back if not then those two walls are gonna have to wait um, I got half of the materials the math materials um, like in their official storage the other half I'm I'm still gonna have to see what I can do with them because honestly I don't like the white um, bins well they're clear but with the white tops just because they're really dirty and then I'm gonna start preparing my library on Monday as well. so thank you for watching if you have been watching since the first day of setup thank you I really appreciate it